you know, when, when viruses and spam and those sorts of things first became a thing, we were still running exchange servers online back in the small business server days of the mid 2000s. Everybody had an exchange server running under a desk or in a closet in their office and spam and viruses were a big deal. And so there popped up this whole industry of email filtering solutions, Proofpoint, Mimecast, MX Logic, all these big brands that were around that you could run through all your email through. And it was a critical thing. You had to have this in place because the volume of spam was just staggering. So those tools got, got kind of created in the mid 2000s and a lot of businesses still run them. And I think there's a lot of value in having a third party looking at your email. That's not Microsoft, maybe get a different set of filters. But I do want to talk about an issue we're having. One of the downsides of some of those tools is they want you to route your mail through their servers because they filter it as it comes in. And in the past, that was kind of not a big deal. But as we've gotten into this future where really trying to validate whether email is legit and trustworthy, having an extra step in the mail flow actually starts to break a lot of the technologies that are getting built to validate email because that proof point server or whatever the server is you're running it through the third party server, they're opening and looking at that email and then sending it to Microsoft. So when Microsoft gets the email, it's been opened. It may have been modified with a disclaimer or a footnote. And it also has, is coming from an email, an IP address and a mail server that's not the original sender. So it really messes up a lot of the signal data. We really like the Microsoft product, the Defender for 365, and think that's just a bare minimum. Even if you are using a third party, you want Defender for 365. But if you, you really want to run a third party solution, we're really big fans of moving to an API based third party solution. And a lot of the solutions that traditionally wanted you to route your mail through them now have an option of using it over the API. And it really makes a big difference because what it means is that the mail is going straight to Microsoft which means Microsoft gets all the data points about the validity of that email, it's unmodified. And then the, your third-party solution can use an API to see that email and can do the things it would have done just through an API through Microsoft. And that's a very common model now. And we really encourage people to go after that. It's causing a lot of consistent issues for people as they route their mail through, um, through other servers.